Here's a roof we did about 10 years ago and nobody maintained this roof, they didn't clean the roof and we came here and it was full of debris. But I want to talk about the drain and an internal drain system like this one. This is a drain that goes inside the house and then somewhere it uh, has an outlet into the yard. What's good about this drain, what we did 10 years ago was <clears throat> we recessed this area around the drain. You can see the square here, that's recessed. What's good about that is the debris will come and fill up in this recessed area. And the drain is still lower than the roof itself here. What it does is, even if the debris, like always, you will find debris collect around the strainer and it clogs the drain. But here, you can see the water coming in there. We have a hose on just to show you for what's going on here. And the water falls up over the debris and it still drains into, the, into that drain. That's what is the most perfect drain for a roof, is to have a recessed drain. In this case, you can see how the water is now filling up here and is going through there. So this whole roof is still draining even with all the debris here that's collected over the years. And you can see, come and show you Sven, come and show how the water goes over the debris into the drain and you can see it's just level with the roof right now. So here you can see a little bit of water sitting here. So when the owner comes and he maintains his roof, he just removed the debris, remove it. <coughs> And there your drain is draining again. See that? That's what you're supposed to do. You remove all the debris around it. And this recessed area will collect the debris again until you get a chance to come and clean your roof. Perfect drain. Ten years ago, the roof is still perfect. There you go. All right. Tell Eric to turn it off and then you move the drain, okay?